saw that the vice chancellor has said that the police resorted to using mild force and that uh, the appropriate action will be taken on the people who were protesting. I want to ask the vice chancellor, brutally assaulting the students, illegally detaining them, not allowing them to contact their families, not allowing them any sort of legal help, threatening the female students with rape, abusing their mothers and sisters, does that constitute appropriate action? Does that constitute as mild force to you? Can we trust this vice chancellor? Do you even know what basic human rights constitute? This vice chancellor, he has made out a statement saying that it was only for one and a half day that there was no food provided, that there was no drinking water. Do you want us to starve for one and a half day or if if human rights violation has been has occurred for one and a half day, students have starved for one and a half day, doesn't that constitute as human rights violation? I also want to question him. He, these people, they keep yapping about students being politically motivated. I want to ask them that if they have any social scientists among their like-minded faculty to whom they should ask the question of what politics construes. We'd like to say that yes, we are politically motivated. We know how to organize ourselves. We know how to form an organized resistance against your fascist forces. And if that makes us politically motiv motivated, then so be it. The Vice Chancellor has also said that it is certain fringe elements, certain sections from the margins who are only protesting about his return and that the majority of the student community wants him to return to the post of the Vice Chancellor. Mr. Vice Chancellor, I want to ask you that if it is students from the margins, it is, if it is people from the marginalized sections who do not want your return, if it is people from the marginalized sections who have faced your repression, and if they raise their voice against your return, is it not valid or should it not be heard? I also, I also want to uh, make this statement uh, that people who have who don't have the basic de decency when people don't have water to drink and they can think of playing holy on the next day or people who, are, who, who go on riding bikes passing through the ladies hostel late in the night shouting Bharat Mata Ki Jai what is the Bharat Mata that you are talking of what is what is your idea of gender what what is your politics we must question them. And in the end, I want, I want to tell the Vice Chancellor that the statements he have put out and the fact that he have advanced the interests of people who are ready to be your psychophants that shows that people who fight, fight for justice are the people who will be marginalized and targeted and people who will, who will be on the side, side, side of the oppressor to reap benefits out of it will be the people who will be rewarded by this administration. So yeah, that's all.